On a personal note, as a coach, there was a shift for me from being that X's nose coach to the coach I am today. And I think it was a powerful thing in turning the programs around. At every school, I was able to turn around a lot faster. And I really believe this Fresno project, we're going to turn this around faster than the other ones. And it's not because of the X's nose or, or better, better athletes. It's because of this shift where I went from being that coach who was going to out-scheme you, I was going to be that coach that had the best play. The only thing I listened to at clinics was X's and O's thing, and I was looking for that silver bullet, that one play I could always call and get yardage, to that coach who started caring. And I realized that my players had bigger issues than football, and I started reaching out and helping them with these issues. At first, I started doing that just out of human kindness, and I didn't see the connection to winning football games. That's not why I was doing it, and it's still not the reason I did it. But man, John Wooden was right. The byproduct was the winning. The winning just started taking care of itself. I really saw this at my first job at, at McFarland, and I took the boys to Moore Bay. And I thought I was going to a 7-7 seven seven tournament because that's what you're supposed to do, right? All coaches go to 7-on-7 seven seven tournaments. That's the only reason I went. And we're over there, and I said, well, let's go take the boys to Fish and Chips. And 15, 16 of the boys get up and tell me that they never been to the ocean. And so I had to change the whole uh, the travel itinerary. I had to call the principal, tell we're going to be late. We went to the ocean for four, four hours. The kids had nothing. They, had bath they were in their spare packs. No bathing suits, nothing. No boogie boards, nothing. They had nothing. Those kids were at Disneyland. They had the funnest four hours of life, and I still get kids on Facebook today telling me how fun that was. It was the first time they saw the ocean. I went because it was a 7-on-7 seven seven tournament. Those kids don't even remember the 7-on-7 seven seven tournament. It was the first time they saw the ocean. That's when I got it. That's when the light bulb went off. So over the years, have I become a better coach? Did I get better players? When, when we were 2-8 and eight and then 12-0, and 0, did I become a better coach? Did they become better players? It's kind of the chicken versus the egg argument, and I don't know what really happened, but all I know is coaching became more enjoyable. It became a lot more fun because I was connected with the players, and we had relationships, we had families. So I'm sure they got better as players because of the weight room, because of our teaching, and I'm sure I got better as a coach. But... Coaching got funner when I made this shift.